Good morning. Lighting's not the greatest, but we'll make it work. Praise God. Huh. Long day yesterday, said her, but that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna keep going here. We are in lesson nine. And it is supernatural increase. God's reward to the faithful and diligent believer. We just thank you, Lord, for this revelation that we point this time to be truth so we know what's going on in Jesus' name. We're starting with Psalm 115, 14. The Lord shall increase you more and more. The R.K. Harrison translation of Hebrew into current English. May the Lord give you Continual prosperity. God wants to increase us from having to live from one financial miracle to another to continual prosperity. That's true, man. I'm, that's true. I just want to, you know, be a blessing so we can be a blessing. So a seed. A farmer doesn't have to have off seasons. Unless there's a famine, and with God, there's no famine. This is what he promised to do for Israel. In the old covenant, if they would just obey him and diligently observe to do his word. Deuteronomy 8. 6 to 13, those shall eat bread without scarceness, and those shall not lack anything. Well, not lack anything, no lack. Obviously, to obtain this level of blessedness is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. It is a result of faithfulness and diligence. It takes a no-quit attitude and lifestyle. That's true, because like today, did not want to do this. I would have stayed in bed. I got to go to work, though. It demands a determination to hold fast to the word, no matter how possible impossible your circumstances may seem. Yeah, because I know these are a little longer than most videos on Facebook Live, so it's hard for people to stick around. Psalms nineteen seven through eleven, and in keeping and in keeping of them there is great reward. The Moffat translation, and fallen on them there is rich profit. Hebrews eleven six, he is a warder of them that diligently seek him. God promises to reward the diligent. He declares that his blessings come to the faithful. Proverbs 28.20 20, A faithful man shall abound with blessings. Proverbs 10.22 The blessings of the Lord that maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow. That's one of my favorite. No sorrow. Blessings. Oh, let me get it. The blessing of the Lord that maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow. with it. Proverbs 10.6 Blessings are upon the head of the uncompromisingly righteous. 2 Corinthians 9 8. And God is able to make all grace, every favor, and earthly blessing come to you in abundance, so that you may always and under all circumstances, and whatever the need, be self sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support, and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. The reason some will never experience continual prosperity is simply because they can't see themselves ever getting there. They know, this is so true. They never let all the negative circumstances they let all the negative circumstances in their life hold them back. If they dare to break loose from the kind this kind of thinking, then God will bring them in the increase. First Chronicles four, nine through ten. Oh wow, good prayer. Jabez was honorable above all his brothers, but there's another mother named him Jabez, sorrow maker, saying a dog snoring back here. Because I bore him in pain, Jabez cried to the God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, so it might not hurt me. And God granted his request. It doesn't say that, well, every once in a while, evil might hit him. Or evil might hit him once in a while every six months. Or maybe every two years, evil will hit him. No, it said that, and you would keep evil, so it might not hurt me. No evil, Jabez had no evil on him, ever. Jabez was not willing to let his natural limitations keep him from increasing. He diligently sought God, and God rewarded him. He wanted God to take him out beyond his previous borders. Tear down the fences. The time has come for, God, for, come for the body of Christ to believe God for continual prosperity. The time has come for great favor to be manifested in the lives of the faithful. Psalms 102, 1-13. Those shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time has come, the moment designated. We need to prosper now, perhaps more than at any time, other time in our lives. There is a great work to do before the appearing of the Lord, and God is expecting us to finance it. How are we supposed to? That was a short one. 
and I missed a page. There is a wait, great work to do before the appearing of the Lord, and God is expecting us to finance it. Yeah, God just, you know, there are. God is the, we are the, he wants to run money through us so we can be a blessing to other people. How's that sound? So, Lord, this is a nice short one, good day to have a short one. I just thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you that you have a plan and purpose for our lives. Give us some hope in the future. I just pray in Jesus' name. Amen.